March is known to be a month full of green, with leprechauns frolicking around having a jolly old time. But traders on Wall Street bets completely throw this out the window. From one user making $30 million trading options, to another user losing his and his wife's savings, we are going to go over the maddest trades of March. 67 High is a user who came to Wall Street bets with only $189. It was February 1st, and he was down over $23,000 just for the past two weeks. His stock trading hobby was looking pretty treacherous, but he felt like he would be able to turn things around. With the help of Spy, Mara, and SMCI, 67 High was able to do the impossible. He was locking in gain after gain. He woke up one morning with over $400,000 in his Robinhood account thanks to SMCI. The stock rallied past $1,000 and 67 High was happier than ever. He had faith that the stock would keep rocketing, but unfortunately, SMCI had other plans. What was once a $400,000 position was now only worth 40 k In just about a day, he managed to slice his portfolio by about 90%. He dumped this 40 k into SMCI calls, but never got back to us with an update. Hopefully things are smooth sailing for him. A gain like this is really no big deal though, because Sandeep4386 is a user who was able to miraculously turn 10k into a million dollars. Sandeep was able to achieve this nearly 100x gain in the matter of only 45 days. But things weren't always sunshine and rainbows for the Wall Street Bets user. Back in March of 2023, Sandeep would find himself entangled in the FRC collapse. Sandeep was hoping that FRC would pump, and he bought $387,000 worth of shares. As we know now, First Republic Bank wasn't the greatest investment back in 2023. The bank was completely wiped out, and the stock proceeded to fall from $120 a share to being completely worthless in just a few weeks. Sandeep was surely disheartened, but definitely not defeated. He got ready for his biggest battle yet. It was December 28th, and Coinbase was trading just over $186. Sandeep felt like crypto's bull run wouldn't last forever, and he decided to pick up some spicy puts that would end up costing him 10 k Sandeep had perfectly timed the market and picked the literal best day to buy these puts. Coinbase dropped by about 7% the next day, and Sandeep had successfully doubled his money. Sandeep was not done yet though, and according to him, like a hawk eyeing its prey, he kept a close watch on DWAC being able to smell the tendies cooking from miles away. DWAC was trading at $22.35, and Sandeep dropped 22k on calls after seeing the results of the Iowa caucus. In the matter of a week, DWAC share price rocketed by 127%. This took Sandeep's originally $22,000 investment into over 700k. Sandeep acknowledged how significant this gain was, but he was not ready to cash out just yet. He was too busy dreaming of yacht parties and tendy-filled hot tubs. DWAC began to cool down though, and his portfolio dropped to a value of $440,000. He ditched WAC and funneled this money into puts on Arm Holdings. Arm was trading around $148. Bucks. Sandeep had already 44 x his money. He just needed Arm to crash to lock in the gain he had always dreamed of. He completed the trusty luck of the Irish ritual. He did an Irish jig and smashed the like button and subscribed. Luckily for him, Arm dropped 19.5% the following day. This sent the value of his portfolio all the way up to 990k. According to him, he already disabled margin and options on this account. He wants to trade only stocks and retire once his account reaches 8 figures. Hopefully Sandeep stays true to his word and holds on to this magnificent gain. Sandeep managed to get pretty lucky, but the next person in our video is someone who royally screwed up the finances of him and his wife. The user who made this post was actually his wife, and the post was made in a subreddit that was not Wall Street bets. So 
for that reason, I'm going to keep the poster anonymous on this one. Sarah and her husband got married two years ago. Sarah's parents paid for the reception and told her that they could keep the cash gifts that they got. They raked in 50k and put this money into a savings account. Sarah thought it would be a good idea to use this money for a down payment on a house in the future, but this would unfortunately never happen after her husband got his paws on the money. Her husband asked her if she would be fine with splitting the 50k into two different accounts. He had begun day trading and wanted to fund his account with enough money to get rid of the pattern day trading rule. He told her that he wouldn't use the money to buy or sell any stocks. He simply wanted the money so he wouldn't get flagged due to pattern day trading. To Sarah's surprise, a few months later, her husband would tell her that the 25k was gone. She was shook and couldn't believe what she was hearing. They just had a baby six months ago and they could really use this money to help support their growing family. The worst part of this all is that he tells her he can make all of this money back. It's pretty likely that Sarah's husband is lurking somewhere on Wall Street bets, so maybe we've already covered him in a previous video. Hopefully he gets his act together so the safety of his family isn't on the line. I'm sure we're all familiar with the Wolf of Wall Street, but word on the street is that the Goose of Wall Street is really where it's all at. Goose of Wall Street came to the subreddit with a modest portfolio of $1,500. He wanted to rapidly grow his portfolio and he had his eyes set on Nvidia. Nvidia increased 29% over the next month and the Goose of Wall Street's investment would pay off. On February 16th, he updated us with the following. 1.5k to 125k in a month. The Goose of Wall Street presents us with a 5,500% gain for the past month. With 126k in his Robinhood portfolio, he says, almost all Nvidia calls with a splash of coin too. Not an entirely smooth ride, but overall happy keeping half in next week through earnings, holding other half back in case things go south. The Goose of Wall Street dropped 53.4k on calls that expired a week later. Even though Nvidia reported amazing earnings and rose 16% for the day, the stock never reached his strike price of $900. Also, he never updated us with new screenshots of this position, so it's tough to say how much he walked away with, if anything at all. Trying to make money in the stock market is pretty difficult. One thing that seemingly always works, though, is claiming sign-up bonuses. Thanks to our sponsor, BankRewards.io, they make it easy to find and redeem sign-up bonuses for a variety of different banks and brokerages. Moomoo and Chime offer over $100 in five free stocks for simply transferring $300. Let's be honest, that's basically free money if you're willing to sign up. That's all for our sponsor. If you're interested, check out the link in the description. Live Life started investing with only $990. He was sick and tired of SMCI and felt like they were due for a drop. SMCI's share price was hovering around $1,000, and Live Life decided to scoop up some puts on the stock. Luckily for him, SMCI dropped a whopping 20% the next day. This led him to making the following post. $990 to 42 k caught puts at the very top smci live life's portfolio is now worth 43.5k hopefully he didn't invest this money in other risky plays fosterion 18 is staying consistent and still going strong we've already covered fosterion three times at this point but each time he returns to the subreddit he has groundbreaking news to share the last time we talked about him he was sitting on a 6.4 million dollar gain for the year and a 20 million dollar gain since april making 6.4 million dollars trading options in the first three weeks of the year seemingly wasn't enough for fosterion on february 21st, he would present his 20x gain on zero day till expiration NDX puts. This gain brought him an impressive $3 million. This means he was now up about 10 mil for the year, and it was only February. An eight figure gain in two months might sound impressive to some Wall Street Bets users, but Fosterion was just getting started. With the help of Nvidia and some other options trades, Fosterion grew his portfolio to over 20 
$20 million. This meant he was up more than $18 million year to date. Not to mention, this was a new account he had recently created. Combining the gains on this account and his original account, he is now up $32 million since April of 2023. I asked this question in the last video, but really, where do you think Fosterion is going to end up in the next few months? Not everyone is going to have a portfolio that looks like Fosterion's. Loud Pineapple 4294 is someone who is in the exact opposite situation. Robinhood has ruined my life. Since creating his Robinhood portfolio, he has racked up a loss of $87,000. This is nearly 97% of his portfolio, but everything is A-OK -okay because he still has hopes of recovering his losses. Retirement has been postponed. I bought puts. Stocks went up. I bought calls. Stocks went down. What the heck is wrong with the stock market? Why can't I be right once? Retail traders like myself will only lose money if they keep manipulating the price. It's totally rigged. My future is dark and contemplating on filing bankruptcy. I deposited another 5k yesterday and casually lost 2500 today by being a bear. With 2.7k left, how can I make it back to 87k? What's the next earning play I can yellow my money into? Loud Pineapple was looking for advice, but other users on the subreddit weren't being so helpful. Do the opposite of whatever you're thinking. Loud Pineapple came to the realization that he was losing a lot of money, but it wasn't his fault. Robinhood must have been rigged against him, so he decided to make the move over to Weeble. In his new Weeble account, he's already obtained a modest $1,500 gain. Switch to Weeble. I'm so fed up with Robinhood. I only need Lunar to quadruple to make my all-time back to green. Mix Master Meat one is someone who ended up taking his investing journey a bit too far. Mix Master Meat has supposedly always wanted to be a day trader. He was able to win his 7th grade computer class stock competition by completely YOLOing his whole paper account into Sony stock. This strategy would carry on into his later years. Mix Master Me was now 30 years old and he was done paper trading. He was trading real money. In the summer of 2023, he says he had the bright idea to ask his girlfriend for $25,000. He said he wanted to put this money into a trading account so he could enable margin, but he told her that he would never actually trade with the money she gave him. He also threw in 5k of his own money to actually fund the trades he was going to do. Things started off pretty good for Mixmaster Me. By day trading SPY and Tesla options, he was able to go from 5k to $25,000. This boosted his confidence and made him feel like a quote-unquote master trader. Like every other master trader, he began losing thousands of dollars per day. He got to the point where he lost 35k, with 10k of that being from his girlfriend. Mix Master Meat was a bit shaken up, but he wasn't completely discouraged. With only 15k left, he decided to YOLO his whole portfolio on Tesla calls. Luckily for him, Elon Musk came through and took the value of his portfolio back to 30k. His girlfriend never even knew that he had briefly lost her money, but that didn't matter to him. He was back in the game. Being back in the game, he started to lose thousands of dollars again. Just before his portfolio came completely crashing down, he YOLO'd his portfolio into Target. This YOLO took his account to six figures in the matter of a day. Feeling overjoyed, he threw 30k into out of the money zero day till expiration spy options. He also took out enough money to pay back the amount that his girlfriend had initially lended him. This turned out to be a pretty smart idea because he would end up completely blowing his account. With zero dollars left, he made the decision that any master trader would make. He took out a high interest personal loan to start day trading in a whole new account. He borrowed 25k and yellowed it on zero day till expiration options. The master trader ended up destroying his account a second time. Only this time, it wasn't even with his own money. He now has to pay over $1,300 
dollars per month to pay off his debt. Let this be a lesson to never become a master trader. People are undoubtedly going to keep making risky trades, but once you've gone master trader mode, that's when you know you should take a step back. Quiet Storage 5376 made his first relevant post to Wall Street Bets on February 1st. He showcased his $15,000 loss for the week, along with the humble title, Yes. He had $39,000 in his Robinhood portfolio, and he was willing to get risky for some options gains. He decided to throw his portfolio into NVIDIA and Meta. Meta shot up 20% after reporting their solid earnings, and NVIDIA was just an unstoppable force in February. These calls took his portfolio from 39 k into nearly $73,000 in the matter of just a week. This was already pretty impressive, but as we all no, any old Wall Street bets trader isn't going to be happy with a 2x gain. Instead of locking in his gains and walking away, he thought it was a good idea to throw his portfolio into Nvidia, SMCI, and ARM. ARM holdings flew 104% in only 4 days. On top of this, Nvidia and SMCI continued their rally. On February 14th, Quiet Storage returned to the subreddit with his portfolio now being worth just under 160k. He was up 40k for the day and 80k year to date. A 100% gain for the past month and a half still wasn't enough for this optimistic investor. He decided to take his metaphorical eggs and throw them into a very speculative basket. That basket being SMCI. This basket seemed to be a great idea. The very next day, SMCI rose 14% and broke past the $1,000 mark. Quiet Storage's portfolio was now worth 230k. This is not shabby at all, considering his portfolio was only worth 39k two weeks before this. Things were smooth sailing until Friday came along. It was February 16th, and SMCI was at all-time highs. The stock peaked at $1,069 five minutes after market open. Right after this moment of bliss, SMCI came crashing down. Only 25 minutes later, the stock had already dropped by $186. By the end of the trading day, SMCI was trading at $803. The stock had fallen about 25% from its peak at market open. Open. Quiet Storage's basket had fallen and 47.17% of the eggs were cracked open. He was down $107,000 for the day and 164k from the peak of SMCI's stock value. Let Go Don't Worry is someone who has been having a rough time. Back in January, he was forced to resign. He cashed out his 401k because he didn't have very much savings. On the bright side, he had two Two different job offers on the table. He negotiated for more money with one of these firms, but they ended up backing off from the offer. He tried to go back to his other offer, but now they laughed him off. After feeling like he had nowhere left to go, he decided to boot up Weeble. With his bare senses tingling, he bought zero day till expiration spy puts that were out of the money. Spy ended up closing down for the day, but it never ended up hitting his strike price. His $9,700 portfolio was cut down to just $1,300. Luckily, he lets us know that his rent is paid for the month and he has three interviews coming up this week. Hopefully, he gets things back on track. Watt Eugene is someone who came to Wall Street Bets with an initial 20k and managed to work his way to being able to afford a Lamborghini. Arm was reporting earnings after hours on February 7th. With the hype surrounding semiconductors, Watt Eugene made the decision to buy calls. He put 6k on the line and hoped for the best. The company beat revenue expectations by 8% and the stock rose by 48%. His $6,000 investment blossomed into 28k. Watt Eugene was feeling like a financial genius. Coincidentally enough, Coinbase was reporting earnings only a week later. 
he decided to throw another 10k into the pot, hoping to go 2 for 2. February 15th rolled right along, and Coinbase also did stupendously well for the fourth quarter. His $10,000 investment turned into 60k. These two trades combined sent his portfolio flying to $91,000. On the same day of making this post, he threw 42k into calls on Dell. The company was reporting earnings in a week and a half. According to Watt Eugene, if SMCI can do it, why not Dell? With due diligence this intense, there was no way Dell could possibly fail him. Watt Eugene made it to February 29th, and Dell, in fact, did not fail him. Dell jumped 31% on this day, and 48% since he bought it. On the 1st of March, Watt Eugene would update us with, Dude, I'm getting a Lambo. 20k to 315k in a month. He's up 300k for the past 6 months, but most of this is from the past few weeks. He's still holding his Dell calls, but the scariest news would come when he shared the following. And before you tell me to stop being a hootenanny and put my stuff into some safe stocks or whatever, this amount doesn't materially change my life. Now, if I run this into a 7-figure account, then maybe it's a different story. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going full hootenanny. Watt Eugene successfully 17x'd his portfolio, but he still wasn't satisfied. Buying a Lamborghini, like he joked about, would actually be a safer investment than continuing his options trades. Hopefully, he keeps his account afloat. Tripster is a user who has had his fair share of experience on Wall Street bets. Back in 2021, he managed to take $200 into 950k. He took what some people make in a day and turned it into nearly a million dollars. After this heroic rise, he ended up losing most of it. Flash forward to 2024, and Tripster got back in the game. He started playing block leaps and successfully turned 3k into $17,000. Block was reporting earnings on February 23rd, and Tripster wanted to see if he could continue pushing his luck. Block's earnings were magnificent, and his $17,000 investment turned into 58k. Tripster 19x'd his money, but of course this wasn't enough for him. Tripster was a leprechaun searching for a pot of gold, and he was willing to try his way to the end of the rainbow. He took this 58k and threw it all into Dell calls that expired a month out. As we already know, Dell's excellent earnings sent the stock price rocketing. Tripster's portfolio was no longer worth 58k. It was now worth a whopping $304,000. An 8200% gain for the past month is pretty impressive but it's nothing compared to the portfolio of two wood for you. He says, hit the pinnacle of my investing career. His portfolio was worth $69,420. Harold King 20 is a user who hasn't been as lucky as some of the other hotshots we've been talking about. I hate options. Harold King 20 is down $26,000 all time, and it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to turn things around anytime soon. He says, I have now lost over 25k and continue losing. Just doesn't make sense to me at all. I suck at this and just can't believe I am so lost after trading for 5 years. Good luck to all, but this my last post because I am done with this stuff. Hopefully Harold King 20 stays away from the stock market or at least stays away from options in particular. Zero Day Till Expiration Spy Call's mistake is a user who has been sitting on the bench for quite some time. He deleted Weeble back in 2021 and decided to re-download the app in 2024. He only had $45 in the account, but he was determined to do the best he could with it. Uber was having their investor day in February, and Zero Day Till Expiration Spy Call's mistake was feeling bullish. He picked up some calls, but didn't really know what to expect considering he only had 45 bucks in his account. Uber rose 18% after their investor day, and things were starting to look interesting. He took this money and reinvested it into QQQ. 
He bought Kohl's the day before Nvidia reported their earnings. Nvidia skyrocketed after reporting earnings, and QQQ went up as well. After this, he saw SMCI crack $1,000, and he felt like it was overvalued. He got some puts, and luckily for him, the stock dropped about 20% that day. This spree of trades took his $45 portfolio to a respectable $9,200. That's a 204x gain in just 15 trading days. Zero day till expiration spy calls mistake isn't done just yet though. He has IWM calls expiring in June and won't cash out till his account reaches 50k. Unlucky Chocolate 379 is a user who, despite his name, is pretty darn lucky. He picked up 500 128 calls on Nvidia that expired on February 16th. He dropped 70k and waited to see what happened. Nvidia was an unstoppable force in February, and Unlucky Chocolate's portfolio would make its way up to $1.1 million. This is great, but hopefully he ended up selling because Nvidia would only briefly hit the strike price before February 16th, and the calls would have ended up expiring worthless. He never updated us with a post showing his portfolio after selling, so let's just hope he locked in his gains while he had the chance. Coinbase Corner is someone who had faith in Coinbase and crypto. On December 8th, he informed everyone that 2024 is the year coin leaps print. He was already up 86k on his position, but he felt like Coinbase still had some time to run. It seems like he was right, because he would come back on December 22nd with a pleasant update. He was now up by 138k, but of course, he still was not done. Flash forward to March 4th, and he was now up by 223k. Coinbase Corner is still not done holding. He says he wants to hold until November, so only time will tell if his investment will pay off. Mr. Man 404 is a user who was eager to begin his options trading journey. He deposited $2,000 into his account. He immediately put that money into Nvidia shares while he was waiting for the money to settle. Once the money settled, he rolled that over into calls with the $560 strike price that expired on February 9th. He didn't want to sell his Nvidia calls, but he was ready to place some more trades. He deposited another $2,000 into his account. He put this money into SMCI shares back when the stock was trading at 436 bucks. When this new deposit was settled, he sold these shares and bought calls that expired on February 2nd. SMCI's earnings were through the roof. He rolled these into calls at the $540 strike price that expired on February 23rd. He then sold his Nvidia calls and rolled them into ARM calls a day Day before they reported earnings. Once again, their earnings were incredible. Mr. Man 404 was able to take 2K into $148,000. In this post, he says he's still holding Nvidia and SMCI and was waiting for Nvidia to report their earnings. Nvidia jumped 16% after reporting earnings, so Mr. Man 404 probably made a respectable amount from his position. WSB Swimming Pool is a user who managed to strike gold by taking 3K to a quarter million dollars. But things are starting to look a little bit rocky for him. After making insane gains with SMCI, he decided to stick to his roots and continue his risky investments in the company. At the beginning of March, news came out that SMCI would be replacing Whirlpool in the S&P 500. WSB Swimming Pool thought that the company was overvalued, so he scooped up some puts. As the day progressed, things weren't looking so good for his portfolio. SMCI kept rocketing, and the value of his puts was taking a hit. When the trading day was finally over, he was sitting on a $52,000 loss for the day. This didn't discourage him though, because he was still very much so holding. WSB Swimming Pool's patience would pay off in a big way. On the very next trading day, March 5th, SMCI took a nosedive. The stock bottomed out at about $980 an hour into the trading day, but jumped back up to $1,100 after hours. This didn't bother WSB Swimming Pool though, because he had already sold his puts. SMCI 100k YOLO result.
results. He was able to secure a six-figure gain early on in the trading day. According to him, he got out pretty much 100% so it's good to know he didn't push his luck with this trade. WSB Swimming Pool still isn't completely satisfied though. He says he's only one third of the way to a million. Hopefully he stays on the winning side of his future trades. Huge shout out to Miguel Hazler and 2008 Ford Fusion for subscribing to the Diamond Tier on Patreon. Click the link in the description below if you want to be featured in future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment who you think had the maddest trade of March.